Hey guys, Nomadic Tips here and today we're going to talk about the interesting life of the Tatan people. Um, those are the Mongolian reindeer herders that call themselves Dukan people and we're going to dive deep into their lifestyle in Tak. So the Tak is a humongous Siberian forest that extends into Mongolia across the Russian frontier. Beyond the magical lake of Huskut, the county's most Northernmost point lies in the most popular section. That's where the Tatan people live. Um, they also call themselves Dukan or Dukans, the name meaning those who have reindeer uh, in the Mongolian language. The Tatan people have their own language, um, the Dukan language, as it is an endangered language that only 500 people can speak in the Taranur uh, county of the Husut region of the northern Mongolia. For many generations, the Tatan have herded reindeer across the Tak, first in their native Tuva, a Russian republic, and then in Mongolia, after borders were withdrawn under the Soviet control in 1944. Merely a few hundred people still live the conventional way of life, and with search engines developing new worlds to us, they have become an alluring topic, as many people around the world had put seeing the Tagan reindeer or the Tatan reindeer on their bucket list. It's definitively on mine. Um, the history goes back to hundreds of years back, as one of the many clues that were given to us was a rock painting of a man riding a reindeer and wielding a long spear that was eventually discovered in the Ulfs province in 1968. This has proven that the majestic creatures of reindeer have been domesticated in Mongolia for a long time, as depicted in this image. Um, more than 400 individuals or more than 100 Tatang households currently live in sub-zero temperatures with climates ranging from a whopping minus 3, 31, excuse me, to 50 degrees Celsius. Interestingly enough, there are over 2,000 reindeer of these of one-of-a-kind animals in the entire world. Um, life in Tav is not as easy as it seems. Um, one of the biggest sacrifices that can be made in the 24th century is to say goodbye to your cell phone and the internet. Because of the extreme volatile weather and the fact that you're in a very, very remote location. Um, another interesting fact about the location and speaking of remote locations, uh, the reindeer herders uh, that the Taran Nor Sum live in is 20 kilometers, oh, excuse me, 20 hours away from the city of Otlambatar. Uh, this means that the ones interested in visiting this unique place will have to travel for almost half a day. Uh, since ancient times, the Tatan people have lived in a simple hut. One of their admirable qualities is that most of the Tatan people, slash the community, devote and structure their life around the reindeer. Uh, there's even a saying that it says, the reindeer and the dukkha are dependent on each other. Um, they mostly practice shamanism and their main way of life is to care for and enjoy the reindeer. Um, in accordance with ritual of placing artifacts in their hut, as every Tatan family has an emblem on the north side of the house in the spirit of their ancestors, their unique culture is then passed down generations down the family as herding tasks are shared amongst the camp with children at a very very young age as they learn to take care of the reindeer as if it's their own family member so basically um, it is a definitively a symbiotic relationship between the reindeer and the Tatan people uh, the Tatan's peculiar way of life has become a hot topic for international journalists a classic filmmaking concept and a ma major challenge for hundreds of visitors to prove that they can travel to places that are practically inaccessible. Though we highly recommend you read Brianna Wilson's Forbes article that we will link down below as it is one of the first to put the lives of the Tatan people to the attention of for the rest of the world and exposing their way of life for the public to see. Um, Hundreds and thousands of tourists come to visit this magical place during all four seasons of the year. Um, most visitors come and plan their stay for four days, some devoted adventure seekers for two weeks, and the ones who truly want to experience and immerse themselves in the Tatan people's culture 
uh, they stay for a life-changing whopping three months. Um, there are indeed tourists who stay the whole year, but it is very rare due to the harsh conditions of living in the Tag region. Uh, the key incentive for tourists to visit uh, the infamous Tag seems to be the journey worth sacrificing and challenging themselves for more than 20 hours and half a day. Uh, just to demonstrate their self-worth and prove themselves that they can reach the unfathomable heights and withstand anything on their trip to Tak. So this was a video talking about the interesting and the devoted Tatan herders who also take care of their Tatan ranger that is extremely rare in the world. So we really, really hope you enjoy this video. Please read our more in-depth article that we're going to put down, link the down below so you can uh, go to our website, nomadictips.com. And we'll see you next time. Bye.